Saudi Arabia is no stranger to hosting major global sporting events, but this is one of the most talented fields of golfers ever to assemble in the kingdom. After his ice call 62, Brooks Kepka said that last week in Bangkok was his turning point. He certainly served notice on the other 47 players here, but can he see it through? The team competition is as open as the Arabian desert. The Crushers, Stinger, Fireballs and Majestics are all jockeying for the three remaining buys into the semi-finals in Miami. It's the Majestics who are lagging behind the pack. This oasis in the Saudi desert is all set for two more days of world-class golf, with the leaders out to prove that yesterday's form was no mirage. Not bad going for Brooks Kepka with a 62. Eight under par, Charles Schwartzel, two strokes back. 65s for Messrs. Uline, Reed and Tani Hara. Smash lead the way on 15 under par. Now, they could still finish in fifth. That would be first pick uh, in the quarterfinals. If the fireballs stay above the Majestics, they will take the Friday off. There we go. This rattles our booth. And we're going to start with Phil. It's a great drive. Patrick Reed, second shot at the second. He had a good, good wedge shot in here. He's got a 12 footer. There you go. Started off nice. P. Reed is, is a special grinder. He focuses on every shot. He's committed on every shot. Um, and he walks it in, you know, so it's nice. Baron Fiesberger, his second shot at 17. He's good. Oh, yeah. yes, a dart. Peter Uline on the, tee, uh, the par three third. Scott Vincent over at the eighth. Come on, baby. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, Beautiful effort. Peter Uline to get within one of teammate and captain Brooks Kepka. And the lead is one. Mm. Oh! Great start for Brooks Kapka. Did that stay up? It did, and it's not hard up and down from there either. This is where Phil ended up on 18. You I'm know, sorry. most of the time, this would scare a lot of players, but not Phil. Wow. Look at that. The flop of Right in his wheelhouse. Paul Casey with his second shot at 17. Hmm. Dead. Sergio for birdie. Not much movement in this putt. Just limps in. Sportsel after the double. Feed right. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah. Catches the slope. Oh, that's going to be six feet. Beauty. Good cut there from Phil. Schwartzel for a bounce back birdie here, Dom. Mm -hmm. Pets it for Eagle here, Bubba. Yeah, I got about a 15 footer. He's um, obviously just come off the bogey. This would be huge. Yeah, well oh, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Up on the green, Peter Uline for his birdie. To Ty Brooks kept cut. <laughs> Sergio now, Sue Great shot by Sergio. Sergio now. Oh, 
headed up the slope. Oh, we had a great putt. Oh. Oh. Joaquin Neiman, this is just his second shot at the seventh. He almost drove it on the lawn. Hello. <laughs> that close to an eagle. Sergio at two. Such a good wedge player. Yeah, oh, that's close. Anoban Lahiri is moving up the pylon to five under par. This is at the third hole, and that's how he did it. Spectacular stuff. Wacky Neiman for birdie at eight to go to six under par. The captain of tour from Santiago, Chile. Yep. Charles Schwartzel. Beesberger, his second shot at the second. Oh. Turk Pettit for birdie. Good read, Bob. This is Oosthuizen for birdie. Oh. 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 <laughs> now read. Struck it beautifully. DJ for birdie at 11. Uh, big fella is starting to make some, maybe. Two in a row. DJ looking for his third birdie in a row and he's got it a hat trick for Dustin Johnson to move to five under par oh Kepka it's for birdie at 12 and he knows all about making putts from distance here Brooks from the perfect spot. Oh, that is the perfect spot. Up the hill, into the breeze. Great chance there. This one, I had a good look at this. It's got to be left flip. And he's got to hit it firmly. Brooks Kepka has the lead. Turk Pettit. That's pretty good there. Yeah, it sure is. Now grabs beautifully. That lovely low check and run. Looks pretty good. Oh, oh this looks really good. Beautiful. Brooks Kepka has the individual lead once again. What can Patrick Reed do about it in the short term? This for birdie at 11. Yeah. Anna Bandler here is on the green at nine. He was fighting a virus of some sort yesterday. Oh, that's quite brilliant. Yeah. Little double breaker, read it beautifully. Martin Keimer, the captain of the cliques, who did so well in Bangkok to get onto the podium for the first time, but back in last place. Oh, oh that has got a chance. Oh, <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> Reverse engineering. That's in the drink. Paul Casey. Oh, yes. Lovely left to righter. Meanwhile, Carlos Ortiz, his second shot at the 15th. Thank you. Brooks K. 
Kepka, this for bogey. Our leader drops two. Now then, can the uh, Kepka brothers fare better through chase here for Eagle? Yes. Peter Uline. Oh, now that helps. Over at the fourth, the par five on the front side, just two of them here at Royal Greens. That's Graham McDowell. Oh, oh yeah. He McDooled it. Now Kanjana. Oh, yes. For birdie a few moments ago at the eighth. Paul Casey's third shot at nine, having dro driven it into the water. Oh, what a shot. Matthew Wolf, second of the ten. There's the, the shallow shot. Patrick Reed. We had a good putt. Oh, never left the center of the hole. I read that beautifully. He did well. He's got to get down. He's right at it, but I think he's got to get down. It did. Lovely shot from James Pyatt. Oh, no, oh, Chase. Paul Casey at the 11th for birdie. Get there, it does. Brooks Kepka for the outright lead here on the 16th green. for another save. Oh, goodness. Schwarzel next here. Yeah, smart play there with the iron off the tee. He's got a chance to close the lead to two. You can pop this in. And Taylor Gooch with his second at the seventh. Oh, well, that's a beauty. Oh, it really is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Peter Uline now with a better angle and better line. Oh, great shot. James Pyatt with his second shot at the second hole. Great shot from the young man. Big moment here, Peter Uline for Eagle and the outright lead. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> trips it in to take the lead. Pretty nice. Well, that's a big moment for Peter. He goes to 11 under par, a stroke clear of his teammate and captain, Brooks Kepka. Shorts on now, Dom. Big part. Looks good. Got it. Uline. Kepka for birdie, and he makes it. So Brooks Kepka ends the day with the joint lead with Peter Uline on 11 under par. Peter Uline goes for 63. And Peter Uline has the outright lead, 12 under par, going into the final round. That's our individual leaderboard heading into the final round. Wow.
Seven under 63 today for Peter Uline. Brooks Kepka, three under today. He's a stroke back. Two back, Sergio Garcia and Charles Schwartz are our winner in London. So Smash have been dominant, but the lead is only six over the Fireballs, who are looking to lock in that semi-final spot. The four aces, no, they won't be playing on the Friday in Miami, but they're chasing a first podium finish outside of the United States. Wherever you're watching around the world, thank you for joining us from the entire Live Golf team. Goodbye for now.